You're watching a Company of Heroes video cast. Sync up now on GameReplays.org. So, man, don't describe the squad. And the fuel point is the cap. They got destroyed! Oh, dude, they got melted. Nice comeback by the Allies, Captain CP. Orange Shrek. Quite the action pack game. Double sniper is out on the field. Oh, I took out one AG spot in this place there. Boom, boom, boom. Lots of fun. That is GG the the right there. The new game here that they got to Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to vidcast number 32. And we are on wrecked train, as you can see. This is a user-submitted replay by Lazuka, aka Lori, and uh, we shall see if her replay is worth its salt. And with me tonight is once again Eclipse. He'll be looking at Lazuka's opponent in the south, which is the American base, by the name of DJ. Keenan. We've seen worse names. Yes. Yes, we have. Uh, we don't get to see Wreck Train often, so hopefully this will be a little interesting. Uh, there's not much else to say other than the fact that, yes, I know that I haven't made a vidcast in the past few weeks, and that is because, well, I've had house guests. Thankfully, they decided to go on leave for the next five days, but they'll be back. So, this I'm taking advantage of that opening right now. So, I will not name names to protect <laughs> the innocent, but uh, yeah, let's just say uh, I do not want to <laughs> deal with deal with this guy's problems. Okay, <laughs> I really don't. But no, oh well. Not my house. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let's get on with it. And get ready to hit your play buttons in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. And gee, I wonder what's going to come up. Yes, a Vermont quarters as usual. Uh, high level 8 U, says Lizuka12. Okay. <laughs> mm. Oh, so DJ's saying, oh, I'm level 9. Double Pioneer uh, build on the Vermont quarters. Try and get some troops on the field quickly. Up and uh, already begins to move the Pioneers on. Volk's Grenadiers, first unit out of the Vermont quarters. What about your end? Well, uh, nothing just yet, actually. Oh, here we go. Finally got some rifles coming up. So pretty much a classic vanilla star ver with Vermont versus Americans. And it's same in their capping. They're both just capping the neighboring points. No one going for any real big gains just yet. Uh, Pioneer's going on the right hand side to capture the so I'm assuming going to capture the plus 10 munitions or maybe something more vital. Uh, maybe that fuel point on the far right hand side. Uh, Volk's Grenadiers are out and are capturing the manpower point in the center. Uh, what about your rifles in the field now? So they're going for the uh, strategic point right next to the base. Where they're going to go next, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's true. And they're talking about Smurf and Smurf accounts and the like and blah blah blah. You know the usual banter about such issues. Anyway. Uh, I'm expecting a first contact at the center w with the uh, Volks and the rifles engaging, but um, uh, overall not much else going on. Uh, rifles going for that hmm, munitions point. They went, to the, they went for the mini point first over the uh, fuel. Interesting. Uh, contact on the right hand side. Engineers engaging pioneers. Pioneers, can they get the cap? No, they're gonna go off and fight. And at close range, the pioneers are just getting chewed up by the mass numbers. And here comes the rifleman to assess. The pioneers are forced to retreat and say, "This is this is stupid. Why are we here? I am getting the hell out." Uh, Volks grenadiers engaging the rifleman <laughs> up front. One man already down. God, those Volks are just terrible. Uh, MG42 providing suppression to help the Volks grenadiers. Wow. Riflemen are falling back. Engineers taking fire. They are ducking for cover. 
and the Germans hold the field for now. Yeah, if that MG in place is going to be pretty hard. Well, let's see what he's going to make out. Another rifleman squad. Uh, classic rifle spam. What? And we're getting Volks Grenadiers again. So another Volk squad on its way. Uh, meanwhile, Pioneers taking fire on the left-hand side. Riflemen are about to overwhelm them, and the Pirates are saying, "Screw that, we're bugging out." Agreed. He's got his MG set up on the right side. It's going to decap the muni point. Meanwhile, on the left-hand side, and I think that yeah, what? DJ uh, DJ Kane or whoever his name is forgot to set his uh, engineers on the right to capture that uh, fuel point right there. Ah, yes. That's a major blunder. Could cost him later. Indeed. Well, actually, they are capping. But they're capping now. Well, they just started capping. <laughs> uh, center is starting For to get past it. several seconds. They could have had it. Yep. Yeah, they could have had it a while ago. And Riflemen already taking fire from that MG42 in the center. Two Volks Grenadiers providing a, a suppression from the rifles. And they are running away. Rifles on the left-hand side taking fire. They are forced to pull back. The Germans are in a strong defensive position with all that wreckage they're acting as co heavy cover. It's going to be difficult to dislodge them from the center, but... Uh, the Americans are decapping everything on their left-hand side, which also isn't good. No, but usually in the early game, you get the Americans that are better at capping over Vermont. Oh, uh, yeah, the Vermont are just... Typically. Yeah, are very defensive-oriented. So, and on the right-hand side, the engineers have taken the right VP, and they are s taking that into the, their hands. Ooh, Flamer Pyro Squad. With Volks forcing the riflemen away. Nice combination there. Bunker going up. If we're seeing bunkers, that can mean only one thing. Zombie Grens are coming. And that usually means either terror or defensive doctrine. Uh, hmm. I'm going to say terror. And why would you say, oh wow, on the left hand side, a Volk squad nearly was decimated, got chewed up by the rifles in that building, they are falling back. P uh, Pyro squad taking fire from the riflemen on the left hand side, but Lazuka is not paying, oh no, now she sees it, and the rifles are retreating, even though they probably could have won that engagement, probably. They probably could have, I mean, you got a lot of open ground right there for them to, take, to, to use. And the medics... But you're right, medic bunker. Medics are out, and they are looking for casualties. But it's already too late. All the Volks on the left-hand side are dead. How interesting. Look what Keenan's doing on the left. He's blocking it off from infantry. <laughs> Sandbagging. Seen that? Haven't seen that in a while. Escalate to skirmish phase has been complete. Yeah, um, we got a uh, supply yard coming up. Oh, so he's taking to well, two. He's accumulated or three quite a few fuel. He's quite. A, he's accumulated enough fuel to at least get a uh, tank depot out. He's at seventy-three fuel right now. The Germans still hold the uh, the right side of the center. For now, but uh, as you can see, the Americans still, you know, have a lot of uh, flexibility in terms of where they can maneuver. Oh, definitely. Well, instead of a tank depot, of course, we're going to go with the uh, motor pool. Yep, that's going to be a fast AMA we know coming. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to be an AMA coming up. Uh, high fuel point captured on the right, far right hand side. Oh yeah. Volks opening up on the riflemen on the left hand side. We're trying to hold out in the house. Oh, just come on, get in, get into that heavy cover, or get into something. 